wafuasi wa Kenya wenzangu tumkaribishe sasa kwa shangwe mheshimiwa Dennis Santo Kweso Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kongo May we welcome His Excellency Dennis Santo Kweso President of the Republic of Congo Welcome your excellency welcome sir to end the letter we let
Afadai. Asante. Check, check. Ni wakubushe wanainchi. Wanajeshi karibu kuingia uwanjani. Na niombe nilivyomba pale mbeleni. Wakati ukifika wa wimbo wa taifa. Sote tutaimba kwa shangwe na kwa sauti. Naomba sasa tumkaribishe kwa shangwe naibu wa rais mteule wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mheshimiwa Rigadi Gashagwa welcome your excellency the deputy president elect of the republic of kenya accompanied by pastor Dorcas Rigadi karibu sana mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mteule pamoja naye Pasta Dorcas Rigadi. Karibu sana, Your Excellency. Welcome to this ceremony. Karibu sana. Tuna kukaribisha. Wanainji wa Kenya, wana kukaribisha. Welcome, Your Excellency. Asante, welcome your excellency Karibu sana Tuache mziki kidongo Tuache mziki wanajeshi waweze kuingia uwajani Uh, wenzetu wanahabari wenzetu ambao tuko hapa mbele kwa heshima tunawaomba tuweze kujitenga ili tuweze kupata gwaride letu la heshima kuweza kuingia hapa uwanjani tutawaomba wananchi tafadhali wakati gwaride litakuwa linaingia hapa uwanjani tuweze kuwa watulivu ili mkuu wa gwaride aweze kuendelea na gwaride basi nitampisha mwenzangu aweze kuendelea tutulie wananchi tafadhali tutulie tafadhali naomba kwa heshima tuweze kutulia ningependa kutambua kuwasili kwake mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi generali robert kibochi pamoja na service commanders ili kuweza kupokea gwaride rasmi hapa uwanjani waandishi wa habari tafadhali tuondoke Tupishe majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya kuweza kuandaa gwaride la heshima kisha tutaweza kuendelea Wananchi tutulie tafadhali tunapopokea rasmi gwaride la heshima hapa uwanjani tuondoke tukadai Heshima naomba sote tusimame kwa ajili ya bendera ya kikosi kinachoandaa kwa ride ya siku ya leo
Asante ni kwa heshima tunaweza kuketi tafadhali. Niombe tutulie tafadhali tusimtatize kamanda anapotoa amri zake tafadhali. Mwisho ni ya kwanza, mwisho ni ya pili, mwisho ni ya tatu, mwisho ni ya nne, mmoja.
pamoja na kwa Haifa kwa kuweza kuingia ndani ya kwa tayari kwa Gwaride siku ya leo na opia shati kuweza kuwekwa sawa Na, itifaki zote zizindatiwa Karibuni leo tare kuminatatu septemba Mwaka huwe ilfu mili na ishirina mbili Kwa sherehe ya kumuapisha na kumtawaza Rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mweshmiwa William Samoe Ruto Wima wanjani Asante Wima wanjani ni gwaride la eshma na ndaliwa na majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya Mavazi mekundu jeshiletu la nchikamu Mavazi ya samawati jeshiletu la wanaanga Na mavazi meupe jeshi la wanamaji Mkuu wa gwaride hii ni luteni kanali Gilbert Kinanga Kikundi cha kwanza cha jeshiletu la nchikamu kiko chini yake mejapide Naomba kwa heshima kutangaza kuwepo kwetu nasi Mweshimi wa Yoweli Museveni Rais wa Jamhuri ya Uganda Tumkaribishe na tumpongeze kwa makofi Hameungana nasi kwenye jukwaku Hameungana nasi pia na hako kwenye jukwaku Waziri Mku Dr. Ahib Abi Ahmed Ali Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia. Welcome, Your Excellencies, to a Karibishi Sana for Makofi Asante. Kikundi Chapili, Kikosi Chaishirina Moja, Chajeshi Letu Lenchkavu, Kiko Chinyake, Captain Douglas Onkoba Ntabo. Kikundi Chatatu, Chajeshi Letu Launa Anga, Kiko Chinyake Meja. Douglas Wanjohi Mwangi na kikundi cha nne cha jeshi la wanamaji kiko chini yake Meja Daniel Mogaka Nyakamoro Parade Adjutant Captain Kelvin Mwenda Kamodo anayebeba bendera iliyofahari ya kikosi cha 21 cha jeshi letu la nchikavu Luteni Amon Lechipan Parade RCM Warrant of Sawan Omar Mwinyi Sururu Mziki unazidi kuporomoshwa na benzi za majeshi ya ulinzi Chini yake mkurugenzi wa mziki Captain Joseph Mturi Senior Drum Major Warrant Officer 1 David Maina Akishirikiana nae Warrant Officer 2 Ben Murei Sergeant Mwai Gatama Na Copro Emmanuel Gituma Parapanda waza kumkaribisha mwishmi wa Rice Ziko chini yake Captain Kelvin Kabudi Nyaga Kuondoa jukua la rais Liko chini yake Sergeant Kennedy Njeru Basi wanainchi wazalendo Kwa kumbusha tu atakapo wasili mgenu wetu rasmi Rais wa jamuri ya Kenya Sote tutaweza kusimama kumkaribisha kwa shangwe Fijo na nderemo Tukiongozwa na bendi yetu ya Maroon Commandos Na baada ya hapo, tutabaki tukiwa tumesimama kwa wimbo wa taifa, wimbo wa jume Afrika mashariki. Basi, ningeomba tuweze kurudi studio, tuweze kupata burudani kutoka kwa bendi yetu ya Maroon Commandos, tukisubiri kwa sili kwa ke 
Mheshimiwa Rais na Ameri Jeshi Mkuu wa Majeshi ya Ulinzi ya Kenya. Bendi tafadhali. nji wazalendo tungependa kukumbusha kwamba katika sherehe ya siku ya leo tutaweza kupokea mizinga moja kutoka kwa jeshi letu la wanamaji kwa ajili ya rais atakayekuwa anachukua hatamu za uongozi siku hii ya leo 
Mizinga hii hutoa sauti kali japo haitaweza kumdhuru yeyote. Turudi kwa Maroon Commandos waweze kuendelea na burudani. Wakati wa wote kuanzia sasa atajiunga nasi rais wa tano rais mteule mheshimiwa daktari William Samoei Arapuruto na atakapojiunga nasi tuwe wa karimu tumkaribishe kwa shangwe vifijo na hata nderemo ningependa tuwe tayari watu wa wote kuanzia sasa atajiunga nasi niombe sote tusimame kwa heshima wakati ambao tuliusubiri kwa hamu na gamu unafika sasa tunapomkaribisha kwa shangwe na vigelegele rais wa tano rais mteule mheshimiwa daktari William Samoei Arapruto naomba tusimame sote tuweze kumkaribisha ni siku aliyotujalia Maulana siku tulioingoja ndiye huyo sasa rais wetu wa tano rais mteule mheshimiwa daktari William Samoei Arapruto wapi makofi mabibi na mabwana wapi shangwe na vigelegele anapojiunga nasi siku ya leo rais wa tano rais mteule mheshimiwa daktari William Samoei Arapruto na mama taifa mheshimiwa mama Recho Ruto tuwapongeze kwa makofi wanapojiunga nasi wapi shangwe karibu karibu mheshimiwa rais wa jamhuri ya tano rais mteule daktari William Samoei Arapruto eh hey, hey. wapi 
Shangwe wapi vigele gele tuendele kupongeza anapo jiunga nasi raisi mteule watano na anapo mkelewa na mkua utumishu wa uma ambaye vile vile nivonye kitu wa kamati ya dalizi daktari joseph kinywa karibu sana mweshu wa rais rais watano mteule mweshu wa daktari william samoe ruto na mweshu wa mama taifa in waiting wapi magofi Wapi shangwe! Wapi furaha mabibi na mabwana? Rais wetu watano! Rais mteule! Ya meni, tuendele kupongeza! Rais watano mteule! Mweshimu wa daktari William Samoya na Pluto akiungana na miongozi wengine kutoka dunia nsima wamefika kuwa mashahidi. Tuendele kupongeza hadi afike kwenye jukwaa rasmi na kisha kisha fiketi tuendelee na utulivu ili gwaride liweze kuendelea. Tuendele kupongeza anapowasalimu viongozi mbalimbali. Eh! Anawapongeza marais, wawakilishi wa serikali mbalimbali ambao wamefika siku ya leo kama mashahidi kuona kwamba taifa nzima na hata ulimwengu kwa ujumla tumedumisha amani yetu kama wananchi. Hongera, Hongera Kenya. Hongera mheshimiwa rais mteule, mheshimiwa daktari William Samoe Arap Ruto na mama taifa. Hongera mheshimiwa naibu rais mteule na mchungaji Dorcas. Mume ipo taifa letu la Kenya heshima. Tumeheshimika katika ramani nzima. Tuwasema asante. Tuendele kupongeza mweshimwa raisi mteule na kuwasalimu viongozi mbali mbali na hata viongozi wa inchi ambao siku ya loa mekuja kama mashahidi kuweza kuhuduri ya kwamba Anawasalimu na kuwapongeza viongozi mbali mbali ambao wako kwenye jukua waku mbali mbali Asante Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. His Excellency, the President-elect of the Republic of Kenya, and the First Lady in waiting, Mama Rito Ruto, joining us now at the Moy International Sports Center, Kasarani, and being introduced and welcoming world leaders who are here with us today. Karibuni sana, Mweshimiwa Rais. Karibuni sana. Welcome, Your Excellency, sir. Maroon Commandos, to end the letter for Dali. One issue of Ari, to pen a fast for Dali. Wadishu habari tusonge nyuma kidogo sasa Tumepata na fasi ya kutosha Asante Tunashukuru tunufanya kazi njema Maroon Commandos Tuendele na Burudani tafadhali Asante sana Maroon Thank you Maroon Basi tutapata Burudani kutoka kwa bendi za majeshi ya ulinzi Wimbo usiniache Uandishu wa habari tafadhali Tunaomba kwa eshma Muturusu tuweze kuendelea nasi pia Na majukumu yetu Bendi tafadhali
Asante sana benki za majeshi ya ulinzi na wimbo usiniache. Basi tuweze kurudi kwao Maroon Commandos. Tunaposubiri kuwasili kwa Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya anayeondoka mamlakani siku hii ya leo. Maroon Commandos. Isi nakade uko wapi nakutafuta sasa nakuomba unilete siku ambayo utafika isi nakade uko wapi nakutafuta siku hii ili jaribu sana kukutafuta nakila nifika Tutulie wananchi tafadhali tutulie wananchi
Wananchi wa Tukufu ningependa kutambua kuwasili kwa mama taifa wanne Mheshimiwa mama Margaret Kenyatta karibu your excellency tumongeze kwa makofi mama taifa anapojiunga nasi welcome your excellency niliomba wananchi kwa heshima tuwe kimya sasa ili parade commander aweze kusikika na wanajeshi kwa heshima sana wananchi naomba basi kwa parapanda hizo ndani nishakiri kwamba anajiunga nasi mheshimiwa rais Maroon Commando twende kwa pamoja tunapomkaribisha mheshimiwa rais wa nne anaondoka ofisini mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na amiri jeshi mkuu tumpongeze kwa makofi mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta moja karibu moja karibu Mheshimiwa Rais kujiunga nasi kwa sherehe ya leo ya kupa mamlaka Rais wa tano Mheshimiwa Daktari William Samoe Ruto Karibu Karibu Mheshimiwa Kenyata utuongoze kwa sherehe ya leo ya kumwapisha rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Bunga. Karibu. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta unapojiunga nasi kwa sherehe ya leo. Bunga Kongoa. Tuendelee kwa watu wetu tafadhali. Asante sana mwenzangu. Niombe kwa heshima tubaki tukiwa tumesimama kwa wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki na wananchi naomba tujumuike na bendi za majeshi ya ulinzi na hali kadhalika kwaya kuweza kuimba wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki tutulie tafadhali
mkuu wa baina ya sasa akija kuomba kwa heshima rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya na mjeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote ya ulinzi idini ya kuweza kagua kwa ride la heshima landaliwa na majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya Your Excellency God of Allah mounted by the Kenya Defense Forces present and ready for inspection sir Asanteni kwa heshima tunaweza kuketi tafadhali. Anayemsindikiza Mheshimiwa Rais ni Mkuu wa Majeshi ya Ulinzi, Jenerali Robert Kibochi. Gwaride hii sasa akiomba idhini kutoka kwake mheshimiwa rais ya kuweza kuendelea na Gwaride
nchi tutulie. Thank you. Naomba sote tutulie kwa maombi. May I most humbly request that we observe a moment of silence as we are led in prayers, starting with Mze Olenkaru, an elder of the Maasai community. Tuombe wanainchi. Nama yama kenya, nama yama serkanya kenya, ara sa yang kaya, yang kaya basna, nai nama yana labres kenya loito, uhuru kenya na, jo meh mangkanya neren dio dicu, jo meh mau merang kerenya na resikai, merang asa keng kerenya na, merang asa keng do robungkung, merang asa keng kado dulu tuan. Mais je n'ai pas l'air de l'air. Et je n'ai pas l'air de l'air. 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 Na inje mbono, jome rombiko, jome rama yana, rama yana serikali yenye, joru ra yenye, rama yana kare yana, rama yana na serikali nadi, na inje yosodua, arasa yangu yai, aromo, arasa ya, aro. Angaya ya umoni kwa president wadi Biebidi president Kashagua Meru kwa sinya kina rosodua Na inje iti goto Na inje osodua Yendo bifu Yendo bifu ene ingiyebu Yendo bifu ene ingiyebu Yendo melono Yendo robilo 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 Yendo Hello, big man, how do you? Hello, big man, how do you pop? Hello, big man, how do you carry? Hello, big man, how do you live in America? Arasaya, Aromon, Ashole. Ata fuata sasa kano father Dr Benjamin Masweli wa majeshi ya ulinzi. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty heavenly God. You are the Lord of the universe, who is as merciful to your creation. You are God of power and might, wisdom and justice. Through you, authority is rightly administered. Laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. We come before you seeking for blessings upon this great nation. Bless His Excellency Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta. President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commanding Chief of Kenya Defense Forces. We pray for his entire family, safeguard them, send your Holy Spirit so that through your precious blood you help them to live a life guided by you. Send your angels to walk with them, call times and shield them from all that is evil. Grant them health of mind and body. May your power and protection be with them now and forever. And now, for His Excellency, Honorable Dr. William Samuel Luto, and all his elected leaders, send your Holy Spirit upon them, grant them your divine wisdom, so that they may seek to preserve peace, promote national happiness, and continue to bring us blessings of unity and prosperity. We appeal to your compassion. Stay with the close to those whom you have chosen and lead them to lead this great nation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Atafuata sasa Sheikh Faisal, ambaye ni Director of Religious Studies, Supkem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kila jinsi ya sifa njema ni yako wewe Allah mlezi wa walimwengu wote. Muumba wa mbingu na ardhi unamuinua unaimtaka na unamdhalilisha unaimtaka. Ni wewe pekee mfalme wa siku ya mwisho. Tunakuomba ulijalie taifa letu la Kenya lidumu katika amani, upendo, undugu na maendeleo. Tunakuomba katika hii siku ya leo wakati tunamwaga Rais wetu Uhuru Kinyata Mungu tunakushuhudia umbarikie katika maisha yake kazi yake ilikuwa ni mzuri na tupo hapa kushuhudia uwapisho wa Rais wetu Mteule naye ni Rais Samuel William, William Samuel Ruto Tunaomba Mungu umsaidie rais huyu pamoja na wasaidizi wake na wote waliocheguliwa katika kuendesha nchi yetu wainue uchumi na wakomeshe ufisadi wainue uadilifu na wakomeshe unyanyasaji wafanye yale unayoridhika nayo wewe Allah uliowatuma manabii wako sisi ni waja wako tunakuasi tusamehe madhambi yetu na vile vile usituadhibu kwa makosa wanayoyafanya wale wasiokujali mwisho nawatakia rehma na amani watumishi wako mtume wetu Muhammad mtume wetu Isa Masih mtume wetu Musa mtume wetu Ibrahim baba yetu Adam na manabii wote Mungu ibariki Kenya amin asanteni atakaye tufungia kipindi hiki cha maombi ni Reverend Teresia Wairimu Kinyajui, founder of the Faith Evangelistic Ministry. Father, we thank you, the psalmist says, this is the day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we want to thank you for this great day that you have made. We are so grateful for what you have done in the nation of Kenya. Thank you, God, for the peace of God that surpasses the understanding of man. God, you have held us together in unity. And God, how I pray this day that Kenya will be a nation under God and the peace of God will continue to prevail in this nation. Dear Lord, I thank you for the great people of this nation of Kenya. I ask that your hand will continue to be upon them in the name of the Lord. And that God, this nation, would know it is a dawning of a new day. It is a new season. This is the day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our outgoing president of Hurumuigai Kenyatta and his lovely wife, Her Excellency Margaret Kenyatta. We speak a blessing over them and their family, their children, Almighty God. We thank you for entrusting him to serve this nation for the past 10 years. We give you glory and we give you honor. And now, dear Lord, we want to thank you for the incoming president of the Republic of Kenya, our faith president. We thank you, God Almighty, for granting us Dr. William Samuel Ruto to be our faith president and his deputy, Gachago and Pastor Dorcas. God, we thank you for them. We pray that God, will you, your hand will be upon them. We ask that God, they will have grace of leadership, that they will take this nation to the next level, almighty God. We pray that this will be days of peace and joy. How I ask you, God, that this time you will unite our nation, that we will come up together and together we shall stand because together we shall never fall. We give you honor and we 
give you praise. I ask that God you remember, you will remember the judiciary, Almighty God, that God Almighty, they will continue to expand and extend their services so that the Kenyans will enjoy the services of justice in this nation in the name of the Lord. So we thank you for our CJ, uh, Justice Mother Kome, the President of the Supreme Court, and her entire team in the name of Jesus. We ask God Almighty, you remember the Court of Appeal. You remember the law courts, oh God. You will be with them and teach them and show them how to serve this great nation in the name of Jesus. And now, dear Lord, we want to remember and dedicate our 47 counties before the hand of the Almighty God. We pray for every county in the name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty, that the hand of God will be upon every governor, the House of the Senate, the members of Parliament, the, the women representatives and the MCAs, oh God, let your hand be upon them. Dear Lord, we also want to thank you for the great friends of this nation of Kenya. We thank you for every president, every prime minister, those that you have granted to come and celebrate this day with us. We ask that your hand will be upon them and their nations and your blessing will come upon them. So Heavenly Father, we also ask you to bless every diplomat, every ambassador, every commission in the name of Jesus. And God, as we come to the swear uh, part of this ceremony. We ask that God, you grace this occasion with your presence, almighty God. Let your hand be upon this nation in the name of Jesus. For we pray and ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray and we believe. And everybody say, Amen. Asante Nisana Skofu, Your Excellency, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces and Your Excellency First Lady Mama Margaret Kenyatta, Your Excellency Honorable Dr. William Samoei Ruto, President-elect of the Republic of Kenya and First Lady-in-waiting Mama Rachel Ruto, Excellencies Heads of State and Government, Your Excellency the Deputy President-elect Honorable Rigadi Gashagua and Pastor Dorcas Rigadi, Excellencies, Deputy Presidents, Deputy Prime Ministers and Heads of Delegations, the Honorable Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, the Honorable Chief Justice and the President of the Supreme Court, elected leaders, Wanainchi wa Jamhuri Tuipendayo, Mabibi na Mabwana. Your Excellencies, it is now my distinct honor and privilege to invite the Deputy Chief Register of the Judiciary, Honorable Paul Demo, to take his position at the inauguration arena and guide the proceedings. Honorable Demo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this marks the commencement of the official swearing-in ceremony of the President-elect and the Deputy President-elect of the Republic of Kenya. And to commence these swearing-in proceedings, which is a judicial function, I would like to invite all of us to be upstanding as we have the judiciary mess placed in position. Thank you. Thank you. The Miss Bearer is Honorable Joseph Were, Senior Principal Magistrate. The Judiciary Miss signifies judicial authority. Under Article 159 of the Constitution, judicial authority is vested in the people 
but is exercised by the judiciary. On top of the head of the mace is mounted the coat of arms, which is one of our national symbols. On the sides, it is emblazoned with the judiciary logo and the scales of justice. Thank you very much. May I kindly ask us to take our seats. At this juncture, I'd like to welcome the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Honorable Anne Amadi, to take her position at the inauguration arena in order to administer both the oath of allegiance and the oath of due execution of the office of president. Honorable Chief Registrar. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered today for the swearing-in ceremony of the president-elect and the deputy president-elect. This is following the general election that was held on 9th of August, 2022. This ceremony is conducted in accordance with Article 141 of the Constitution, which requires that the swearing-in of the President-elect shall be in public before the Chief Justice. It also requires that the President-elect shall be sworn in on the first Tuesday following the seventh day, following the day on which the election is declared to be valid. It also requires that the president-elect assumes office by taking and subscribing the oath or affirmation of allegiance and the oath or affirmation for the execution of functions of the office as prescribed in the third schedule of the Constitution. This ceremony is therefore conducted uh, in accordance with Section 13.2 of the Assumption of the Office of President Act, which provides that the oath or affirmation shall be administered to the President-elect by the Chief Registrar before the Chief Justice, not earlier than 10 a.m., and not later than 2 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, today, 13th day of September 2022, is the first Tuesday following the seventh day, following the date on which the election was declared to be valid. I also confirm that uh, the time now is within the prescribed time and within the provisions of the Assumption of Office of the President Act. May I now request the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Justice Martha Kome, to take her place at the inauguration arena. May I also ask the President-elect and the first lady in waiting to come forward so that you may be formally introduced by the Chief Justice to the nation. Mr. President-elect. Your Excellencies, 
heads of state and government, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all Kenyans, I have the honor and privilege to introduce the President-Elect of the Republic of Kenya, In this regard, I wish to state as follows. Whereas, Honorable Dr. Ruto William Samoy was on the 15th. of August 2022 declared as the duly elected president of the Republic of Kenya pursuant to the provisions of Article 136 one that eight four and one that eight ten a of the Constitution of Kenya in the presidential election held on the 9th August 2022, and whereas the chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission delivered a notification of the result of the election to the office of the Chief Justice on the 15th of August 2022, pursuant to the provisions of Article 138.10b of the Constitution of Kenya, I Martha Karambu Kome, Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, do hereby introduce to the people of Kenya the President elect. His Excellency Honorable Dr. Ruto William Samoy and invite him to take his place in the inauguration dais. Tutulie tusikie kiapo. Wananchi tutulie tusikie kiapo cha wa rais. Uh, may I call upon the president elect to come forward together with the first lady in waiting. First oath, which is the oath of allegiance of the president. Mr. President, please repeat after me. I, I, William Samoei Ruto,
in full realization in full realization of the high calling of the high calling I assume as president I assume as president of Kenya of the Republic of Kenya to swear that I will be faithful that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya to the Republic of Kenya that I will obey that I will obey preserve preserve protect protect and defend this constitution and defend this constitution of Kenya of Kenya as by law established as by law established and all other laws and all other laws of the Republic of the Republic and that I will protect and that I will protect and uphold and uphold the sovereignty the sovereignty integrity integrity and dignity and dignity of the people of Kenya of the people of Kenya so help me God so help me God Tumpongeze kwa makofi anapoendelea kuchukua kiapo. Asante. Tutulie kwa kiapo cha pili. We will now take the second oath which is the oath of due execution of office of the present president. Mr. President-elect, please repeat after me. I, I, William Samoei Ruto, swear, swear, that I will truly, that I will truly, and diligently serve, and diligently serve, the people, the people, and the Republic of Kenya, and the Republic of Kenya, in the office of the president in the office of president of the republic of kenya of the republic of kenya that i will do diligently discharge that i will diligently discharge my duties my duties and perform my functions and perform my functions in the office of president in the office of president of the republic of kenya of the republic of kenya and i will do justice and that i will do justice to all to all in accordance with this constitution in accordance with this constitution as by law established as by law established and the laws of kenya and the laws of kenya without fear without fear favor favor affection affection or ill will or ill will so help me god so help me god tumpongeze tena kwa makofi rais watano wa jamhuri ya kenya tumpongeze wananchi asante pongezi pongezi mheshimiwa rais tutulie ili tuendelee na kutia sahihi na kwa sasa mheshimiwa rais anatia sahihi kiapo cha utekelezaji wa majukumu ya ofisi ya rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Thank you very much The president is now appending his signature to the first oath that is the oath of allegiance of the office of president After the president is done he will then sign the oath of due execution of the functions of the office of president the honorable the chief justice is also appending her signature on the first set of documents that is the oath of allegiance once the chief justice has appended her signature the oaths are then sealed 
with the seal of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency the President is now signing the last set of documents which is the certificate of inauguration. This certificate confirms that this ceremony today has taken place. His Excellency the President has now finished signing the two oaths of office and the certificate of inauguration. The Honorable the Chief Justice is signing on the last set of documents whereupon they will be sealed with the seal of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Uh, may I ask the Honorable the Chief Justice to come forward for the presentation of the certificate. Mr. Your Excellency the President, please, for the presentation of the certificate. And now, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Tumpongeze Kwamakofi, Tumpongeze, His Excellency, the Fifth President of the Republic of Kenya, Nimuombe Ainue Certificate Ju, Wanda Inchi Waweze Kuona, Cheti Ambacho Ametia Sahihi. And there we have it. His Excellency, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. We will now proceed with the swearing-in ceremony for the Deputy President-elect. And may I ask the Deputy President-elect and Pastor Dokas to come forward to take the oath of office. May I request that you place your left hand on the Constitution. And uh, we will begin with the oath of allegiance of the Deputy President. And may I ask request, Mr. Deputy President-elect, to repeat after me, I, I, Redani Dachagwa, in full realization, in full realization, of the high calling, of the high calling, I assume as Deputy President, I assume as Deputy President, of the Republic of Kenya, of the Republic of Kenya, do swear, do swear, that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance, to the Republic of Kenya, to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, and that I will obey, preserve, preserve, protect, protect, and defend this constitution, and defend this constitution of Kenya, as by law established, as by law established, and all other laws, and all other laws of the Republic. And that I will protect. And that I'll protect. And uphold. Uphold. The sovereignty. The sovereignty. The integrity. Integrity. And dignity of the people of Kenya. And the dignity of the people of Kenya. So help me God. So help me God. 
tumpongeze kwa makofi mheshimiwa naibu wa rais now take the oath of due execution of office for the deputy president and i'll ask that you repeat after me please i i regadi gashagua do swear do swear that i will always that i'll always truly and diligently truly and diligently Truly and diligently. Truly and diligently. Serve the people. Serve the people. And the Republic of Kenya. And the Republic of Kenya. In the office of Deputy President. In the office of the Deputy President. Of the Republic of Kenya. Of uh, the Republic that I will of Kenya. diligently. Serve the people. Discharge my duties and perform my functions in the state office. May I request that we take it again, please? To the best of my judgment. I'm sorry, let's take it again. Let's take it again. I... Listen. Asante Kashagwa. do swear do swear that I will always that I will always truly and diligently truly and diligently serve the people serve the people and the Republic of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya in the office in the office of the deputy president of the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya that I will diligently discharge that I will diligently discharge my duties my duties and perform my functions and perform my functions in the said office in the said office to the best of my judgment to the best of my judgment that i will at all times that i'll at all times when so required when so required faithfully and truly faithfully and truly give my counsel give my counsel and advice to the president and advice to the president of the republic of kenya of the Republic of Kenya that I will do justice to all that I'll do justice to all without fear without fear favor favor affection affection or ill will or ill will and that I will not that I will not directly or indirectly or indirectly reveal such matters reveal such matters as, as shall come to my knowledge I shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy and committed to my secrecy so help me god so help me god tumpongeze kwa makofi mheshimiwa naibu wa rais thank you very much the Deputy President has also taken the two oaths of office. He is appending his signature now to the first oath. That is the oath of allegiance to the office of the Deputy President. The oath in terms of wording is exactly the same as that taken by His Excellency the President. The second oath that the, his certificate that was signed by His Excellency the President, once the Chief Justice appends her signature, they will be sealed with the seal of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency the Deputy President has finished signing his the two oaths the Chief Justice is signing the last set. And like the President, 
His Excellency the Deputy President does not sign the certificate of inauguration. The one that is signed by the, His Excellency the President suffices and covers both offices as it confirms that this ceremony has taken place today. The oaths are being sealed now together with the certificates. May I now ask the Honorable the Chief Justice to come forward and present this oath to the Deputy President-elect at the front of the mace, please. Your Excellencies, very distinguished Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor, before I hand over the certificates, to introduce the Deputy President, Honorable Ligavi Gashagwa, to the nation. Tumpongeze kwa makofi. Mweshimiwa Rigadi Gashagwa Ambaye sasa Ninaibu wa Rais Wa Jamhuri ya Kenya I want to state that Whereas Honorable Gashagwa Rigadi Was on the 15th August 2022 Declared as the duly Elected Deputy President Of the Republic of Kenya Pursuant to the provisions of Articles 138.10a, 143 of the Constitution of Kenya, in the presidential election held on the 9th August 2022, and whereas the chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission delivered written notification of the results of the election to the Office of the Chief Justice on the 15th of August 2022, pursuant to the provisions of Article 138.10b of the Constitution of Kenya, and having taken the oath, I, Martha Karambu Kome, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, do hereby present to you, the people of Kenya, the Deputy President, Honorable Ligavi Kashagwa, and present him. Tumpongeze sasa, tumpongeze sasa, kwa makofi mweshimiwa naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, mweshimiwa. Rigadi Gashagwa, congratulations, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now have some photographs. May I most humbly welcome His Excellency the President to take the first photograph with the Honorable the Chief Justice. Thank you very much. They may now be joined by the Honorable the Chief Registrar. Thank you very much. They may now be joined by with His Excellency the Deputy President. Thank you very much. They may now be joined with the First Lady, Her Excellency Mama Rachel Ruto, and Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Rigabi. Thank you very much. We will now thank you. 
Thank you very much. We will now have a photograph of His Excellency the President and the First Lady, just the two of them. Thank you very much. And finally, we'll have a photograph of His Excellency the Deputy President together with Her Excellency Pastor Dokas Rigadi on their own. Your Excellency President and First Lady, I request you to retreat to your ceremonial table. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now have the last photograph taken. His Excellency, the Deputy President, together with Her Excellency, Pastor Dokas Regadi. Your Excellency, the President, you may retreat to your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I now wish to invite the Honorable the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary to hand over the briefcase containing the oaths and the certificate of inauguration to the head of the public service, Dr. Joseph Kinyua. Thank you very much. May I now kindly invite all of us to stand as we have the Miss Lord to signify the end of the judicial part of this ceremony. Thank you very much. I now welcome the Honorable the Chief Justice to take her seat at the main pavilion and request uh, the rest of us to kindly take our seats. That, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of the judicial function of this ceremony, and I wish to invite the Master of Ceremony to continue with the rest of the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Basi Naombasasa. Kwa eshma, sote tuweze kusimama kwa kipindi cha kupea na zana za mamlaka na uongozi kwa mweshmi wa rais anaingia mamlakani mweshmi wa uhuru mwe, samahani mweshmi wa William Samoe Ruto kutoka kwa ke rais anayondoka mamlakani mweshmi wa uhuru kenyata Let's be all upstanding kindly for this session. Tampisha Mwezangu, Captain Alfred Mwabibi, Aweze Pendelea. I wish to now most humbly request His Excellency Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta to proceed to the inauguration arena to hand over instruments of power to His Excellency Honorable William Ruto. President of the Republic of Kenya. He will be escorted by the Chief of the Defense Forces, 
General Robert Kibochi. Tutulie tafadhali. Kikatiba katika Jamhuri ya Kenya Rais mteule anapowapishwa ukabidhiwa zana mbili za mamlaka na uongozi kwa sheria upito wa mamlaka. Zana hizo ni Katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya na Kitara cha Kijeshi ukipenda Presidential Ceremonial Sword kwa kizungu. Mwanzo kabisa Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. William Samoei Ruto atakabidhiwa na kala ya Katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya iliyopitishwa mwaka na kumi na kala hii ya Katiba ikiwa ni ishara kuwa taifa litaongozwa kwa uongozi thabiti ambao utazingatia kanuni zote zilizorodheshwa katika Katiba hii. May I on I request Your Excellency Honorable William Ruto to move forward and receive the instruments of power. Tumpongeze kwa makofi anapopokezwa katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Asante wananchi wa Zalendo tuweze kutulia tuendelee na ratiba ambapo tukimalizia kipindi hiki cha kukabidhiwa zana za mamlaka na uongozi Mheshimiwa Rais Dr. William Samoe Ruto sasa atakabidhiwa kitara cha kijeshi yani Presidential Ceremonial Sword Kitara hiki kimetengenezwa kwa mpini wa chuma cha pua ama stainless steel halikadhalika nchi yake imepambwa kwa dhahabu. Kitara hiki kinadhihirisha kudhibiti inchi na ulinzi wake. Kwa kawaida kitara hiki ukabidhiwa rais anayechukua hatamu ya uongozi kwa sheria uhamisho wa mamlaka na usimamizi wa vyombo vya dola kama ilivyo kawaida kama kamanda wa kijeshi waendapo vitani ukibeba kitara kwa sheria wao ndio wanatoa amri hivyo basi kwa kukabidhiwa kitara hiki mheshimiwa rais daktari William Samoei Ruto anakuwa kirasmi ndiye amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi ya Jamhuri ya Kenya Tumshangilie mheshimiwa rais kwa makofi anapopokea kitara hichi. Na ni dalili shairi kwamba anakuwa mrijeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote ya ulinzi ya Kenya. Asante sana. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais. And now the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya and commander in chief of the Defense Forces, Honorable William Ruto. Niombe Mweshimiwa Rais kwa Heshima. Niombe tuwe na kipindi kifupi cha picha. Picha ya kwanza ni yake Mweshimiwa Rais watano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa William Ruto Your Excellency the President kindly your photo Asante picha ya pili ni ya Mheshimiwa Rais wa wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Rais wa nne wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kindly your excellency
Naomba sasa picha ya tatu ni muombe mheshimiwa naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa augane nao kwa picha ya tatu Naomba sasa ni waalike mheshimiwa Rachel Ruto mheshimiwa Margaret Kenyatta na Pastor Dorka Zorigadi waungane nao kwa picha ya mwisho Asante sana I wish now to most humbly request your excellency honorable Uhuru Kenyatta and former first lady Margaret Kenyatta to retreat and take our position at the main arena. Naomba kabla ya turudi kwa jukwa, mheshimiwa rais kabla ya turudi kwa jukwa, naomba tuwe na maombi rasmi na speciali. Maombi speciali na rasmi ni muombe mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa and Pastor Dorcas kindly if we could join the prayers. Kindly for prayers. Stand up! Nitaomba Bishop Mark Karioki aweze kuja kuongoza maombi rasmi to dedicate the presidency and the instruments of power to the Lord. Niombe kwa heshima tuweze kuwa na maombi rasmi to commit their excellencies to the Lord and also the instruments of power. Bishop Mark Karioki. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, and your Deputy, the first thing that you do after being inaugurated as the President and the Deputy of the Republic of Kenya is to ask God to help you. For in your oaths, you said, so help me, God. And we are gathered here to stand with you and pray. May I ask you to kneel down right there where you are. And all the Kenyans who are watching from home, those of you who are watching from different places on the media, I would like you to join us as we pray. If you could go on your knees, let the whole nation go on its knees as we pray to God. Our Father and our God, we bow before you this moment. Because you are the Lord God, who answers prayer. Lord, we cried out to you and you heard our prayers. And today you have proved to the world that you are the God who can change a chicken seller to a president. That you are the God who is not a respecter of persons. And this day, we thank you for the peace you have given us in this republic. We thank you for the president you have given to us. Lord, we pray that upon this altar, you will give him the wisdom that is required to lead this nation that you will give to him the wisdom you gave to Daniel in the land of Babylon, that you will give to him the wisdom you gave to Joseph in the land of Egypt. You will give to him the wisdom to fight corruption. You will give to him the wisdom of forgiveness, that you will give to him the wisdom of mending and repairing the economy of this nation. 
I pray, O oh God, that you will order his footsteps, that you will keep them united, that they shall not be separated, but in your fear, O oh God, they shall serve the people of this nation. Lord, I pray that you will give to the president the tongue of the wise and the tongue of the eloquent, that as he addresses this nation, your favor will be upon him. We pray that your favor will be upon him, even as he talks to world leaders, that he will speak that which you have spoken. I pray that in the name of Jesus, you will cause him to be an example of forgiveness in this nation. That there shall be no revenge because of what may have been said or what may have been done to him. But forgiveness shall reign from every corner of this nation. That those who did not win, Lord, will not feel intimidated, but they shall feel there are people in this nation. And those that have won shall not feel superior to the people. Father, I pray for their families, that you will keep them in perfect health, that you will protect them, and that, Lord, your favor will be upon them. We thank you and we bless you as we dedicate our president, William Samoe Ruto, and his family, and the deputy Rigadiga Chagua into your able hands that, Lord, you shall be glorified in their lives. We thank you and we bless you because we pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 We would like to blow the shofar. You may now arise in your excellencies. And I want to read this scripture to you. It is found in the book of Joshua, chapter number one, from verse number one. And it says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, and said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people to the, uh, the people of Israel or the people of Kenya across the river Jordan into the land which I am giving to them. Wherever you set your foot, that will be land that I have given to them. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess the land. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this one of instructions continually. Meditate on this on eight day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. And your excellency, sir, the first gift that you receive on your inauguration is this Bible that I have read to you. Tumpongeze kwa makofi anapopokea Biblia kutoka kwa Bishop Mark Kariuki. May I now most humbly request your excellencies, Richo Ruto, after that one photo
Asante sana. May I now most humbly request Your Excellencies Richard Ruto, Your Excellency the Deputy President and Pastor Dorcas to retreat to the main dais. May I most humbly request that we retreat to the main dais. Alafu niombe mkuu wa majeshi aweze kumsindikiza mheshimiwa rais kwenye jukwaa His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Republic of Kenya now being escorted by the Chief of the Defense Forces to take his place in the inauguration arena. Waandishi wa habari tusonge kidogo. Basi Mheshimiwa Rais na Mary Jeshi Mkuu wa Majeshi yote ya Ulinzi anapochukua nafasi yake kwenye jukwaa maalum niombe kwa heshima tuweze kusimama kwa wimbo wa taifa. Na wakati wimbo wa taifa utakapokuwa unachezwa bendera ya mheshimiwa rais anayeondoka mamlakani itaweza kushushwa huku bendera ya rais anayeingia mamlakani ikiweza kupeperushwa juu na kwenye jukwaa rasmi picha ya mheshimiwa rais anayeondoka mamlakani kuweza kuondolewa huku picha ya rais anayeingia mamlakani kuweza kuwekwa kwenye jukwaa rasmi na baada ya hapo nitaomba tubaki tukua tumesimama kwa ajili ya mizinga ishirina moja kwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto Tutulie kwa wimbo wa taifa tafadhali
Asante sana tutulie tafadhali tutulie tusiweze kumtatiza parade kwa maana tafadhali Tutulie wananchi thank you Hivi sasa military police Aresia military police warrant of Sawan Chege akimkabidi Luteni Kanali Mtugi bendera aliyokuwa anatumia mheshimiwa rais ili aweze kumpokeza mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi General Robert Kibochi aweze kumkabidi rais mstafu Uhuru Kenyatta na kumshukuru baada ya kutumikia taifa kwa miaka kumi kama rais na amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi Tumpe makofi mheshimiwa rais anapopokea bendera hii. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kuweza tumikia taifa la Kenya kwa miaka kumi kama rais na amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi. Basi tubaki tukiwa tumesimama mkuu wa gwaride hii sasa akija kumuomba kwa heshima rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya idini ya kuweza kuondoa gwaride hili uwanjani baada ya kuandaa gwaride la kufana siku ya leo Your Excellency may I have your permission to march off the guard of honor sir Asante ni kwa heshima tunaweza keti tafadhali. Basi wananchi tutulie gwaride linapoondoka uwanjani. Sturi za kijeshi sharti bendera ya kikosi kuwa mbele ya gwaride unavyoshuhudia hivi sasa toka kwake kala ofsa pamoja na parade arsia wakichukua nafasi yao
basi mheshimiwa rais na huo ndio utakuwa mwisho wa tamasha za kijeshi kwa pamoja na ningependa kuwashukuru waliofanikisha makala haya kanali James Kirumba Captain Alfred Mwambili Warrant of Sawan Fanuel Mahebo Warrant of Sawan Dennis Talengo Naval Sergeant Major Warrant of Sawan Bwana Haji Omar bila kuwasahau wenzangu Koplo Jabiri Banzi Koplo Masichitai jina langu ni Sergeant Misango Mbae nikiweza kuarejesha moja kwa moja hadi kwake bwana Peter Wanjohi aweze kuendelea na ratiba ya siku Asante ni sana wenzangu your excellencies on behalf of the assumption of the office of the president committee i wish to request that we lay on a brief moment of entertainment i will now invite my colleagues artist chipukizi and artist garuya to take us through this session chipukizi asanti sana bwana wanjoi mheshimiwa rais all protocols observed Nikubalie kwa heshima kwanza kwa niaba ya mahasla wote. Nikupe pongezi kwa kuchaguliwa kuwa rais wa tano wa nchi ya Kenya. Tumpigieni makofi tafadhali. Basi Mheshimiwa Rais, the entertainment program brings together a group of artists that have been drawn from all regions of Kenya. Mahasla hawa wanaoingia hapa jukwani ni wasanii kutoka sehemu zote za nchi ya Kenya. Siku ya leo wanaenda kutuimbia nyimbo sita. They are going to sing six songs and the first song is a song about prayer entitled Usikiae Maombi. Wimbo huu ni wa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kujibu maombi yetu. Saa Godi ametuchezea kama yeye. Ama namna gani majamaa? Wimbo wa pili ni wimbo wa Kenya. Wimbo huu is a song to celebrate Kenyans for their hard work, resilience and calls to all Kenyans to come together and unite in order for our country to move forward. Kisha wimbo wa tatu ni tuafurahia leo. Wimbo ulio himbo na Sanaipe Tande, Nadia Mukami na Bridget Kioko. Kisha wataimba wimbo wa inne ambao unasema Mungu wabariki Kenya. Wimbo huu it's a Thanksgiving song that celebrates our country, our leadership our patriotism and a prayer for the country wimbo wa nne wimbo wa tano samani ni wimbo twasema asante a patriotic song and a thanksgiving song to the almighty god for a peaceful election and for giving us a new president and other great leaders this song will be led by anastasia mukabwa kisha ngoma ya mwisho your excellency ambayo niko sure is your favorite song the wimbo ulio imbo na Zablon singers kutoka sandani, Tanzania wimbo wa nimeuona mkono wa Bwana wasanii kama mko tayari chezeni kama nyinyi
kwa beka tuwa tembe Yeah. 
kunenga ate nyendi tunga ngalo na tui kunea umecheza kama wewe baba na ndipo satwasema
wapi makofi yao wapi shangwe wapi vikele kele mheshimu alais daktari william samoi ruto hao wamekuwa waimbaji wa hapa kwetu kenya na tanzania nyimbo zao ni kuombea kenya kukuombea na kuombea viongozi wapi makofi yao waimbaji tafadhali wapi nduru wapi shangwe sasa nataka kualika mwenzangu Mr. Wanjoy ili atulete our deputy president jaba yawe ila kijana wa maumau ligadhe gashagwa wapi vikerekele Asante sana na kwa onyesho hilo mheshimiwa rais ndipo tunalikuja jamvi la kipindi chetu cha burudani naomba kwa heshima na unyenyekevu Unikubalie sasa niweze kumwalika naibu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa aweze kuendelea na ratiba itakayofuata mheshimiwa naibu wa rais uh, thank you very much your excellency the president of the Republic of Kenya Commander in Chief of Kenya's Defense Forces William Samoe Ruto Your Excellency the First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto Your Excellencies visiting heads of state and government your Excellency, our retired President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Your Excellency, the former First Lady Mama Margaret Kenyatta. Honorable Chief Justice, Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate. All protocols observed. God is good. And all the time. Nisalimieni kwa hewa bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Wow, wow, what a moment. What a day. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, my friend and brother. I want to take this opportunity to be the first one to congratulate you on being sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Congratulations, my brother. You fought a hard fight. The obstacles that have been placed before you on your path to leadership were insurmountable. But because there is a God in heaven, today, an ordinary child born by ordinary parents, brought up in an ordinary village, brought up in an ordinary way, growing up in an ordinary manner. Because there is God in heaven, he is the president of the Republic of Kenya and commander-in-chief of the Defense Forces. I want to thank the people of Kenya for their resilience and for their determination for rejecting to be intimidated, for rejecting to be coerced, and for saying that the will of the people is supreme in this republic. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, I must tell these people the truth. Despite the fact that you are a hard worker, you have passion to serve. You are zealous. You are a go-getter. The journey ahead of you is not rosy. And I want to ask the people of Kenya, the way you prayed for President William Ruto to be elected as president, please continue praying for him and his team to be able to start the economic transformation of this great republic. Our new president and his team have a difficult task ahead. The truth of the matter 
is that we have inherited a dilapidated economy that is facing almost an economic shutdown. We have a 10 trillion public debt. Six million Kenyans have no employment. 14 million Kenyans are in CRB. We have a demoralized public service. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from day one to liberate this country economically and put it back to where President Mwai Kebake left us 10 years ago. Your Excellency, the President, I want to tell the people of Kenya that today is a great day. Freedom is here with us. Freedom is here with us. I want to tell the people of Kenya that finally you are free. Kenya is now a democratic country. You don't have to look back when you do something. All Kenyans are free to associate whoever they want. Talk with each other through the WhatsApp for fear of being recorded and persecuted by state agencies. Your Excellency, our President. Your Excellency, our President. You have told us, and we believe you, that you shall never, in your, pres in your presidency, use the criminal justice system to manage politics. You have told us that you will manage politics the conventional way through persuasion and reaching out. I want to give a word on behalf of our president that you are free to criticize his government without fear of reprisal from state agencies. Your Excellency, Mr. President, as I wind up, as I wind up, I want to assure you of my resolve and commitment from the bottom of my heart to be available to assist you to manage the affairs of our great nation. I'll serve you with loyalty and dedication. And the job ahead of us is not a joke. I and the team behind you, we shall be available and will try to keep up with your pace. I know I am getting in shoes that are almost impossible to fail. The performance of William Ruto in his first term when he was allowed to serve the people of Kenya was on another level. Please, I beg the people of Kenya, I beg the people of Kenya not to measure me with the performance of William Ruto because you might get disappointed. I'll try. I may go up to 60 or 70 percent, but feeling the shoes of this man is no small feat. And as we move forward, I want to ask the people of Kenya to work hard. We don't have a choice. Once we try to fix this economy and create a good working environment, where we don't criminalize enterprise, where ordinary Kenyans are allowed to work, where businessmen are not harassed by KRA. Where goods belonging to the people of Kenya will never again be touched by Ovazila's public servants. Where again poor people will never again be evicted in brutal evictions by state agencies.
and I say freedom is here let every Kenyan be prepared to work hard let us give our new president a chance and I beg you to be patient with him we have come to the treasury and the coffers are empty we have to start from scratch we ask for people of Kenya to be patient and give us a chance to try to get things working finally as a Christian I take this opportunity to thank my wife Dorcas Pastor Dorcas for being a prayer warrior for praying for me in difficult times for standing by me I want to thank my children Kevin Gashagua and Dr. Keith that even when state agencies came for me with the brutal efficiency you never abandoned me my family I will ever cherish you for standing with us and as I and I must tell the people of Kenya please take care of your families those are the only people you can rely on friends abandoned us business associates betrayed us but family will always be there for you the story of William Ruto is one of inspiration today millions of Kenyans are looking forward that if an ordinary child could be president even them working hard and praying to God one day there will be some people in this country it is now my privilege to introduce the people of Kenya a man of great resolute a true warrior of the Republic of Kenya a man who is committed to public service a man who believes that every hustle matters a man who believes that every Kenyan must be given a chance a man who has committed his life to the service of the people of Kenya I want to invite the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya the one and only William Samoy Ruto Let me request all of us to be seated, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Your Excellencies, Heads of state and governments, representatives of heads of state and government, my brother, the former president, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and Mama Margaret Kenyatta. Madam Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Ministers present, Your Excellencies, Governors and Deputy Governors, all leaders and the dear people of the Republic of Kenya. Good afternoon. Hamjambo. Hamjambo. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Assalamu alaikum. Ebu tu salimiane wani nione ibio.
Asanteni sana. This moment is a moment like no other. By the grace of God, we have got here. And let me say, that standing here today is testimony that there is a God in heaven. And today, I want to thank God because a village boy has become the president of Kenya. I want to thank my wife and family for always praying for me and praying for my team. I want to thank the many friends who have been with me in this journey. Many have gone through difficult times because of their association with me. Friends, I want to say thank you very much. In our midst, we have friends of our nation. We have presidents from around our region. Allow me, with a lot of humility, to introduce the presidents that are in our midst because they have taken time out of their busy schedules to come and celebrate this moment with us. Allow me to introduce the father of our region, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the president of Uganda. That is the old man always in a hat. Allow me to introduce His Excellency President Denis Sasso Ngueso, the President of Congo Brazzaville, my father who is here. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Ismail Omar Goule, President of the Republic of Djibouti. Allow me to introduce my elder brother, His Excellency Paul Kagame, the President of the Republic of Rwanda. Allow me to introduce His Excellency President Salva Kir Mayadid, the President of the Republic of South Sudan. Nakaribu sana mwishimiwa. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Felipe Nyusi, the President of the Republic of Mozambique. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Dr. Emerson Mnangagwa, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Felix Chisekedi, the President of DRC. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Azali Asousmani, the President of Comoros. Allow me to introduce my elder brother, His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, His Excellency Abi Ahmed. 
allow me to introduce President Omari Sissoko, the President of Guinea-Bissau. Allow me to introduce a man who knows this country very well and a pastor, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, the President of Malawi. Allow me to introduce our neighbor and the chair of the East African community, the President of Burundi, His Excellency Evaris Ndaishimie. Allow me to introduce His Excellency Wavel Ramkalawan, the President of Seychelles. Allow me to introduce our neighbor, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, the President of Somalia. Tafadhali na waomba bile bile ni mkaribishe mama wetu shangazi wa East Africa mama Samia Suluhu rais wa Jamhuri ya Tanzania karibu sana mama wetu in our midst are many other leaders including vice presidents, other prime ministers, and other leaders, senior government officials, and representatives of friendly governments who have been sent to us. Among them, delegation from the United States of America, a delegation from Israel, a delegation from China, a delegation from Korea, and a delegation from many other countries who have come to celebrate this moment with us. Before my, I make my very brief statement, with a lot of respect, I want to ask, on behalf of the other national leaders who are here, presidents from our neighboring countries, let me request Mze Yoweri Kaguta Museveni to make just a few remarks. Karibu Mze. Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, Excellencies, heads of state and government who are here. His Excellency Vice President of, of Kenya, Mr. Gachagua. <laughs> and all the other leaders, the one inch of Kenya. Kwanza hongera kwa mheshimiwa William Ruto kushinda uchaguzi Pili na mshukuru mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta kwa kuongoza Kenya kwa miaka kumi iliyopita hongera
kawaida normally I don't watch television stations in the neighboring countries but whenever there are elections like in Tanzania or Kenya recently I started watching your television channels. <laughs> and there is one television, I was scanning through them, but I watched something called KTN News Chivumbi. That, and I'm glad with the statement of the vice president who has been elected, because he was talking here about the real challenges of African countries and, and uh, leadership. Now, in this Chivumbi, most of the time, they were talking about Don't involve me in your internal affairs. <laughs> me, I just want to observe a few things. The first, they were talking mainly about sharing power and sharing resources. Then there was one young man with a lot of gray hair, much a young man with a lot of gray hair. At one time he came and made a, a good point. And the point was the politics of identity versus the politics of interests of issues. I said these, these young people are beginning to, to get somewhere. But then another one said, you are talking of distributing resources. Where will these resources come from? So all of the political class in Africa I would appeal to you to answer that question. Where does prosperity come from? Ustawi wajami unatoka wapi? According to my experience of 60 years, I would advise Africans to know that prosperity comes from wealth creation. You must create wealth. And wealth is not the same as natural resources. You may have natural resources, but you don't get wealth out of them. The wealth means commercial agriculture, manufacturing, services, hotels like hotels, and ICT. Now, if I own a hotel, it is my wealth. But that hotel creates jobs for Kenyans or Ugandans the linkage between wealth and jobs. Because when I watch these TVs, I get a bit concerned. You see, people are talking 
and the neo-colonial social science is also very dangerous because people don't, don't link. So I have not read, of course, the manifesto of Kwanza, Kenya Kwanza, nor have I read the other one of Azimio. But But I know His Excellency Ruto. I've met him a number of times in Uganda, and I know he likes ideas and frank talking. Now, what I found a problem in that KT News Chivumbi was in all the things they were talking about, they were not talking about East African integration. They talk about Kenya, 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 Kenya. But I can tell you, uh, and then one of them, the other, the other evening, one of them was quoting the example of uh, American president Roosevelt. Roosevelt started a program in 1934 which created jobs and so on. But Roosevelt was utilizing the huge market of the United States which had already been created by some people who had a vision. So therefore, I congratulate His Excellency Ruto I thank His Excellency Uhuru on behalf of the presidents who have come here. I did not come here to give a lecture about this or that, but I thought that in order for Uganda and Kenya and Tanzania and Congo and Burundi and Rwanda and South Sudan and Somalia, which is coming now, in order for us to catch up with the United States, we need also to look at the issue of the regional market. Because when you produce, who buys? The more people that buy from you, the better for the business, and the better for job creation. I thank you and I wish you good luck. Congratulations, Kenya. Asante sana mzee. With a lot of apology, I have been informed that in our midst, we have other friends who, did, who I did not mention. Allow me to introduce my good brother, His Excellency Julius Nado Bayo, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, and you're most welcome to Kenya. Let me also introduce the President of Saharawi Republic, His Excellency Brahim Ghali. And in our midst as well, the chairperson of Africa Union, my good brother, Musa Faki. Let me now introduce again to speak to us briefly, the president of Burundi, our neighbor, His Excellency Everest, Ndaishimie. Karibu sana, Mweshimua Rais. Mweshimua Rais William Ruto, Rais wa Jamuri ya Kenya, and the first lady. 
Excellencies, Head of State and Government, Mweshimi wa ndugu yangu, Uhuru Kenyatta, Viongozi, Kwa angazi mbali mbali za, za inchi ya, ya Kenya, Head of Delegations, Members of Diplomatic Corps, Wanainchi wote wa Kenya, Hamjambo Hamjambo Kenya oye Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki oye Waishmiwa Nianze kwanza kwa kumshukuru mwenyezi mungu Aliye tuwezesha kufika salama katika inchi nzuri ya, ya, na yenye amani ya Kenya Ninafulaha sana Kenya kabisa hakuna matata Nichukue tena fursa hii ni wapoengeze wa Kenya wote kwa kufuata mioyo ye yao, ya, yao wakati wakupiga kula na kutibitisha kwa mara nyingine ukomavu wao wa hali ya juu na kuonyesha ulimwengu viwango vya demokrasia yao Kenya imeshinda na mafanikio yenu ni kiburi ya jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki mumeshinda mumeshinda shetani ya vita hongereni sana hongera sana ndugu yangu mpendwa mheshimiwa William Ruto kwa kuteuliwa kuwa rais wa Kenya ni presence nzuri unakuja bila ubishi kama mtoto mzuri na nakutakia kila laheri wa Kenya na jumuiya wa Kenya na jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki kwa ujumla wanatazamia kwa hamu uongozi wako ndugu yangu Ruto ambao utachukua sio tu kuipeleka kuipere, nchi yako mbele kwa kimaendeleo bali pia kuimarisha ushikiliano wa kikanda nikiwa rais wa Burundi na mwenyekiti wa mkutano mkuu wa rais wa nchi za jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki ninatarajia kufanya kazi na wewe ili kuimarisha maendeleo kwa kanda letu Na upande wa Burundi tunafurahia uhusiano mzuri ambao kwa bahati nzuri upo kati ya Kenya na Burundi miaka mingi na ninaweza kukuhakikishia mheshimiwa ya kwamba undugu kati ya Wakenya na Warundi utaendelea kusimama imara na undugu nilio ufurahia mheshimiwa uhuru utaendelea kwako ndugu Ruto ningependa tena kutoa kongezi kwa ndugu yangu mheshimiwa uhuru Kenyatta kwa uongozi wako furaha iliyo kutambulisha imekuwa furaha ya wakenya wote na hapa Unamaliza muda wako kwa furaha na utulivu na kupongeza sana. Mungu aendelee kukubariki na hili libaki akilini mwako kanda letu litaendelea kutegemea ofisi zako nzuri kusaidia kulegesha amani mashariki wa DRC. Ningependa
kuhitimisha hotuba yangu kwa kupongeza kwa mara nyingine tena Mheshimiwa Rais William Ruto na kukutakia afya njema na mafanikio mema. Ninaomba kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu awape nguvu na uwezo na kuipeleka Kenya katika kiwango kipya kabisa. Mungu abariki sana Mheshimiwa Rais Ruto. Mungu abariki Kenya. Mungu abariki Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Asanteni sana. Wa mwisho na kabla sijamuita wa mwisho wacha let me recognize the presence of the prime minister of Eswatini tumpigie makofi the heads of regional economic blocks EAC Comesa and IGAD together with ECOWAS congratulations and the deputy president of Equatorial Guinea. Nataka sasa ni muite the first ever president of East and Central Africa, our dear sister, the president of Tanzania, President Samia Suluhu. Karibu sana mwechmiwa rais. Tunakuenzi, tunakueshimu. Mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Mama Ruto Mheshimiwa Rigathi Kachagua Naibu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Mama Gachagua Mheshimiwa Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta Rais Mstaafu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Mama Kenyatta Mheshimiwa Kuu nchi na serikali tulio kuja kuunga mkono shughuli hii leo waheshimiwa mabalozi na wakuu wa taasisi za kimataifa wageni walikwa wananchi wa Kenya mabibi na mabwana Kenya we kwanza kabisa niungane na viongozi wa dini Kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuweza kukamilisha shughuli hii ya dhimu na ya kihistoria ya kumwapisha rais mpya wa Jamhuri ya Kenya pamoja na naibu rais kwa niaba ya serikali na watu wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tunawapongeza sana tunawapongeza sana ndugu yetu William Samoe Ruto rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya pamoja na ndugu yetu Mheshimiwa Rigati Gachagua naibu rais wa Kenya kwa kupokea rasmi jukumu la kuiongoza Kenya leo Katika hatua hiyo ya pongezi tunamshukuru na kumpongeza sana Mheshimiwa Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta kwa kumaliza vyema kuitumikia nchi yake na kuitumikia kwa mafanikio makubwa hongera sana Ndugu zangu wa Kenya tunawapongeza nyinyi kwa kuonesha ukomavu wa demokrasia na kumaliza uchaguzi salama na leo tuko hapa pamoja kama wa Kenya na wa East Africa tunashangilia uwapisho wa rais wetu mpya Nataka niwaambie ndugu zetu wa Kenya kama kuna zawadi mlioitoa kwa Jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki mwaka huu ni zawadi ya amani mlioiweka katika uchaguzi. Tunawashukuru sana 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 kwa zawadi hiyo muhimu. Ndugu zangu wa Kenya uchaguzi umemalizika. Sasa ni kujenga taifa la Kenya. Na hapa niungane na walioimba hapa kwamba wananchi wote wa Kenya sasa mshikane mikono kuijenga Kenya. Mwisho kama dada, 
nitumie fursa hii <coughs> kuhakikishia Kenya dhamira yetu ya dhati ya kufanya kazi kwa kushirikiana kwa karibu zaidi katika kuleta maendeleo ya pamoja ya kijamii na kiuchumi baina ya nchi zetu lakini na ukanda wote wa Afrika Mashariki na muomba Mwenyezi Mungu amwezeshe ndugu yetu Ruto pamoja na serikali atakayoiunda awatie nguvu ili waweze kutumikia vyema nchi hii katika kiwango kinachotarajiwa na wananchi wa Kenya mwisho kabisa ni muombe Mwenyezi Mungu aibariki Kenya Mwenyezi Mungu aibariki Afrika Mashariki na asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza Sante sana Asanteni sana and thank you very much for your comments and your words of encouragement To the people of Kenya, this is a momentous occasion for our country. Our politics and our elections have never failed to be emotive, engaging, and dramatic. The most recent installment, however, showcased our most exemplary democratic performance. This day comes on the back of a peaceful election following an intense issue-based campaign in which major coalitions made up of strong political parties canvassed their agenda and took it for examination by the people of Kenya. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission stewarded a transparent and credible election whose result faithfully reflects the democratic will of the people of Kenya. Dissatisfied parties exercise their right to petition before the Supreme Court, whose proceedings and determination not only gave comfort to the doubtful, but also restored faith in our electoral and judicial institutions. Many countries aspire to have moments like this and we as Kenyans should not take ours for granted. This is the third election under the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and the second peaceful transition. We have had a robust conversation about this moment and what it demands of us and we have sought to answer the question whether this is a constitutional moment or an economic moment. In this process, we have demonstrated the maturity of our democracy, the robustness of our institutions, and the resilience of the Kenyan people. My competitors and I mobilized vigorously to offer the citizens of Kenya the most appealing agenda as well as the best roadmap to achieving it. I remain firm in the conviction that all sides in the last election did their best to present a pathway to actualize the people's aspirations. The just concluded election was a choice between competing ideas towards the Kenya we want. Elections and democracy entail unifying competition, not divisive rivalry. The performance of our security services, the performance of the IEBC, and the judiciary was put to severe test. By and large, these institutions lived up to our expectations. We can only aspire to do better in future, and I give my undertaking that my administration shall work to ensure that the bar is raised even higher for the next general elections.
a significant dividend of our electoral and democratic process is the tremendous achievement we made in breaking the glass ceiling by enhancing the participation of women in leadership. Seven women were elected as governors up from three in the last election. 29 women were elected as members of the National Assembly up from 23 in 2017. Seven women deputy governors and three women senators were elected as well. It is very clear that this election had many winners, far exceeding those who were actually elected. By far, sorry, by far, the largest winners of this election is the people of Kenya. We have done well as a nation. We have blazed the trail in an increasingly challenging environment where democracy is consistently on trial. We have come a long way in our nation's journey to freedom and going by our most recent performance in these elections, we conclude in confidence that we are almost home. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to single out the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission for special commendation for the courage to do the right thing under exceptionally challenging circumstances. As an institution, they have set a new standard in public service that is uncompromising, professional, and exemplary while raising the bar of integrity of our public officials and public institutions. It is appropriate to single out for special mention the chair of the IEBC, Wafula Chebukati, for standing firm, resisting bribery, resisting intimidation, and resisting blackmail and doing the right thing. It is also appropriate to celebrate our judiciary for sustaining its tradition of boldly giving much needed guidance, especially in allaying post-election anxieties and resolving grievances in a sensitive, credible, and authoritative manner. Judiciary's articulation of the aspirations and standards enshrined in the Constitution has deepened our democracy and institutionalized our rule of law. Our judiciary is now, without a doubt, Kenya's biggest constitutional dividend. The judiciary has successfully arbitrated three election disputes and defended the nation against formidable onslaughts on our constitution. Our judiciary has demonstrated transparency in its proceedings and decision making, thereby consolidating its independence, authority, and legitimacy. I also take this opportunity to say a special word of appreciation to our security services for a commendable job at a critical moment in our nation. Their services and heroic sacrifices they have made beyond the call of duty has kept our nation safe. I am aware that our uniformed services effectively resisted concerted attempts to foment unrest and subvert the will of the people. My special commendation also goes to all our candidates who contested various positions. Their participation enhanced competition and enriched public debate that underpins democratic choice. 
Special recognition goes to my worthy competitor and friend, the Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga and his running mate, the Honorable Mother Wangari Karua, and all the other candidates who mounted a vigorous and determined campaign. I assure them that their supporters Very good. Very good. Our special gratitude also goes to millions of Kenyans in the Hustler movement for tirelessly mobilizing for the campaign and executing a historic revolutionary feat, perhaps as great as the daring exploits of our legendary freedom fighters. This includes all our campaign volunteers, agents, mobilizers, and those who contributed whatever they could in whatever form to keep the movement going. I also appreciate our religious community and institutions for their support, their prayers, and encouragement. I commend the church in particular and in equal measure the Islamic religious leadership for their considerable support to us and our campaign. We also appreciate them for continuously exploring avenues for interfaith understanding and solidarity, which have gone a long way to enhance tolerance and cohesion in Kenya. Faith-based institutions continue to play a noble and indispensable role in our communities. And I commit that we will enhance our partnership, build on our collaboration, and enhance our support to them. At this juncture, it is important for me to speak directly to the youth, and especially those who participated in one way or another in the election campaigns. I commend you for resisting pressure and enticement to be misused as agents of conflict and disruption during the electioneering period. I also congratulate those who went out to seek various roles within campaigns and elections, thus playing their part in keeping Kenya's democracy robust. Even if your candidate did not win, your participation in the activities of our political parties, campaigns and elections is the beginning of political internship. My political journey similarly began as a young campaign volunteer fresh out of university in 1992. Your experience and lessons learned should form the basis for your leadership journey going into the future. We have all therefore emerged out of this contest stronger, more united, and alive to the issues that are common to all of us. We should remain conscious that we have all been elected to work together in ensuring that our children go to school, our people have food and decent health care, and our young people have jobs and our workers have dignified livelihoods. For we believe strongly that every hustle matters. <laughs> Dreams and ambitions live in the hearts of Kenyans who struggle daily against daunting odds, often with nothing except stubborn hope. Some succeed others fail, while others also do not even get a decent chance. Before the nation and the world today, I stand with great humility and profound joy as a living testimony that with faith in God, willingness to work hard, and a commitment to a vision, dreams can become reality in the fullness of time. I promise 
to throw open every door of opportunity and to keep every door open until success stories become the norm rather than the exception and urge all other leaders to do the same so that we can together expand opportunity and chance for many of our citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, we should consolidate our success in the just concluded elections and enhance the capacity and performance of our governance institutions. The innovative deployment of technology to secure election results has been the Electoral Commission's pioneering breakthrough. Going forward, we will support the IEBC's institutional capacity so as to expand the deployment of technology to cover all elections from those of MCA to those of the President. I also believe that there is tremendous opportunity for IEBC to support electoral processes in our political parties as part of the broader democratic development. To consolidate the place of the judiciary in our constitutional and democratic dispensation, my administration will respect judicial decisions while we cement the place of Kenya as a country anchored on democracy and the rule of law. Our campaign for financial independence of the judiciary has paid off with the implementation of the Judiciary Fund on July 1 this year. My administration will scale up the budgetary allocation to the judiciary by an additional 3 billion shillings annually for the next five years. These resources will support the bottom-up scaling of justice by increasing the number of small claims courts from the current 25 to 100. We will also work with the judiciary to build high courts in the remaining seven counties and magistrates courts in the remaining 123 sub-counties and support their ongoing digitization program. These interventions will empower the judiciary to adjudicate and expeditiously conclude corruption cases, commercial disputes, and all other matters, thereby enhancing access to justice and efficiency in our judiciary. To further demonstrate my commitment to the independence of the judiciary, this afternoon I will appoint the six judges already nominated for appointment to the Court of Appeal, which was done three years ago by the Judicial Service Commission. And tomorrow, I shall preside over their swearing in so that they can get on with the business of serving the people of Kenya. As required by Article 245 of the Constitution, the Inspector General of Police is mandated to exercise independent command over the National Police Service. The service's operational autonomy, however, has been undermined by the continued financial dependence on the office of the President. This situation is going to change. As I address you, sorry, One moment. Good. There we are. As I address you, I have instructed that the instruments conferring financial autonomy to the National Police Service by transferring their budget from the office of the President and designating the Inspector General as the accounting officer be placed on my desk for signature 
this afternoon. Financial independence of the police will give impetus to the fight against corruption and end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system, an undertaking I made to the people of Kenya. I and my administration will respect their professional service and no public servant, even chiefs and their assistants, will be required to run political errands for any political party or formation. Ladies and gentlemen, we anchored our campaign on the platform of the economy pre pre premise on job creation and the well-being of the people of Kenya, and we have been working continuously on the measures to bring down the cost of living. Our people are confronted daily with increasingly unaffordable prices especially food and transport. In our economic forums across the country, during the campaign, citizens consistently shared their anxiety, their pain, and their fury on this matter. It therefore calls on us for urgent and decisive resolution. The interventions in place have not borne any fruit. On fuel subsidy alone, the taxpayers have spent a whopping 144 billion, 60 billion in the last four months alone. If the subsidy continues to the end of the financial year, it will cost taxpayers 280 billion, equivalent to the entire national government development budget. Additionally, there was an attempt to subsidize UNGA in the run-up to the election, a program that cobbled up $7 billion in one month. In addition to being very costly, consumption subsidy interventions are prone to abuse. They distort markets and create uncertainty, including artificial shortages of the very products they seek to subsidize. The cost of living challenges are related in our respectful submission to production. Our strategy to bring down the cost of living is predicated on empowering producers. The forecast for maize harvest this year is below 30 million bags against a normal production of 40 million bags. The main cause of the decline in production is the high cost of farm inputs. Our priority intervention, therefore, is to make fertilizer, good quality seed, and other agricultural inputs affordable and available. For the short rains, for the short rains, we have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya shillings 3,500 for a 50 kilogram bag down from the current 6,500. This fertilizer will be available from next week. I appeal to county governments I appeal to county governments in eastern, central, and western regions where we are expecting short rains to work with us in making sure that this fertilizer is available to all farmers in that region so that we can begin the journey to increase our food produ uh, production initiatives. Additionally, Additionally, to cushion tea farmers 
we have made arrangements with KTDA to immediately supply tea farmers with fertilizer at 3,500 shillings down from Kenya shillings 5,600. This is our initial intervention. We will be doing more in the medium term and in the long term. We are alive to the challenges of drought that face seven counties which are now at alarm or 13, under 13, that are at alert stage, respectively. We are determined to ensure that our county, no county, slips into emergency phase and will coordinate with county governments, which are the first line of our response. And I want to ask my colleagues, governors from Kenya, and especially those regions, to work with us in this endeavor. We are mobilizing resources to reverse this situation. Our goal is not just to provide relief and recovery to restore the situation, but to invest and unblock the huge economic potential of rangelands that constitute two-thirds of our country. Jobs, ladies and gentlemen, is our other priority. It is time for us to stem the tide of youth unemployment. Every year, 800,000 young people join the workforce, and over 600,000 of them do not find opportunities for productive work. Moreover, our young people in cities and towns face very hostile environments, many times treated as a nuisance and their hassles criminalized. Those who seek to set up formal businesses are faced with a bureaucratic monster that is multiple licenses. Our immediate agenda is to create a favorable business and enterprise environment, decriminalize livelihoods, and support people in the informal sector to organize themselves into stable, viable, and credit-worthy business entities. This is the essence of the bottom-up economic model, which creates a path for traders and entrepreneurs to build linkages, experience safety, and enjoy security as they go about their enterprises. We will work with county governments to create frameworks that provide security trading, secure trading places in our cities and in our towns. We have committed specifically in the city of Nairobi to work with the county government of Nairobi to build an additional 20 markets in the city of Nairobi alone as we do, as we work with other counties to achieve their plans. Framework from its current practice of arbitrary, punitive, all or nothing blacklisting of borrowers, which denies borrowers credit. We will work with credit reference bureaus on a new system of credit score rating that provides borrowers with an opportunity to manage their credit worthiness. This will eliminate the culture of blacklisting. In our engagements, traders also complain about the onerous burden involved in cash transactions exceeding one million. Many have reverted to storing money under their mattresses at great risk, which is clearly not the intention of the anti-money laundering regulations. While we remain fully committed to mitigating this risk, we believe that there is scope to make compliance. Sorry, again. Very good. <laughs> While we remain fully committed to mitigating this risk, we believe there is scope to make compliance less burdensome on genuine business transactions. I have been assured by the central bank that work 
is ongoing on how to ease this burden without compromising the security of our financial system. Shortly, I will be announcing to the country what we have agreed with the central bank so that Kenyans can go ahead and facilitate their transactions without unnecessary impediments. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we shall implement the Hustler Fund dedicated to the capitalization of micro, small, and medium enterprises through chamas, circles, and cooperatives to make credit available on affordable terms that do not require unnecessary collateral. To implement all these interventions, we shall establish a Ministry of Cooperatives and SME Development mandated to ensure that every small business has secure property rights, access to finance, and a supportive regulatory framework. Furthermore, to deal with the huge challenge of youth unemployment, we will roll out our social and affordable low-cost housing program, targeting an average of 250,000 units every year. This will create opportunities in the entire job market. We will engage Tibet institutions to provide necessary skills to enable the Juakali industry supply standardized products for our housing program. We will leverage on our competitive advantage in the leather and textile industry to roll out our labor-intensive agro-processing industrialization program. This will start in Naivasha Industrial Park and Dongokundu Industrial Park. This afternoon, I will be issuing instructions for clearing of goods and other attendant operational issues to revert to the port of Mombasa as I made a commitment to Kenyans. This will restore thousands of jobs in the city of Mombasa. Ladies and gentlemen, we must stabilize our public finances. This year, we will spend 60% of our revenues to service our debt. We are faced with Kenya shillings 60 billion in pending bills for goods and services supplied to government. Clearly, we are living beyond our means. This situation must be corrected. I am aware that many individuals, families, and their businesses have been driven to ruin and forced to shut down over government and paid bills. We shall give priority to the expeditious resolution of our pending bills so that the government can meet its obligation and facilitate better economic performance. In the coming weeks, we shall add our tax bracket. We will make KRA more professional, efficient, responsive, and people-friendly. I urge taxpayers to respond by undertaking their patriotic duty and pay their taxes. In furtherance to this, oversight institutions, such as the Auditor General and the Controller of Budget, will be adequately funded to execute their mandates. On the, matter, on the matter of gender parity, I am committed to the two-third gender rule as enshrined in our Constitution. We will work with Parliament to fast-track various legislative proposals and establish a framework that will resolve this matter expeditiously, as I promised in our manifesto. The participation of women in our governance does not make us lesser, it makes us greater. And their role can no longer be nominal, it must be substantive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our health agenda is premised on fundamental reform in the way health 
is financed and provided. We shall reform the National Insurance Fund to make it a social health insurance provider, improve procurement of medical supplies, deploy an integrated state-of-the-art health information system, and most importantly, provide adequate human resources at all levels. Contributions to the National Hospital Insurance Fund will now be graduated and will, be, will depend on people's income. There is a, a robust conversation, ladies and gentlemen, in the country on education, and in particular, the implementation of CBC curriculum. Public participation is critical in this matter. I will establish an education reform task force in the presidency, which will be launched in the coming weeks. It will collect views from all players in line with the constitutional demand of public participation, and we are particularly alive to the anxieties of parents on the twin transition of the last 844 class and the first CBC class in January next year. I assure all that there will be a solution to the matter before then. <clears throat> we have elevated our diaspora to the 48th county. The complaint has always been that the diaspora does not receive adequate attention and attention they deserve. The focus has been on remittances while the fundamental rights as citizens have been neglected. To correct this oversight, I pledge to elevate diaspora to a ministry level, strengthen diaspora services in all embassies, work devolution and sharing of power and resources is not just a national value but a principle of governance in our constitution, but it also is the ground jewel of our constitutional dispensation and the proudest achievement of the citizens of the Republic of Kenya. Every part of our country has experienced the positive impact of this invaluable institution and Kenyans yearn for, a, for better performance of all our devolved units. One of the best ways of accelerating national development is through collaboration with county governments. As Deputy President, I witnessed firsthand the tremendous potential of intergovernmental synergy and look forward to scaling up our capacity to harness these bountiful possibilities. Because of this realization, I have no hesitation in accelerating the transfer of outstanding functions to counties together with the attendant resources. To promote budget efficiency and minimize disruptions and delays in devolved service delivery, my administration commits to take necessary measures to secure the timely disbursement of revenues allocated to county governments. The success of devolution depends on sound intergovernmental relations. There is a template which incorporates lessons from successes as well as failures in past engagements, and we stand a stronger chance of making devolution work better. Kenya will continue, ladies and gentlemen, to be a dedicated partner to peace, security, and prosperity of East Africa region. We look forward to deepening our integration. We welcome our newest member, the DRC, whose entry now extends our region from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic. Kenya is fully committed to the implementation of the East African Community Treaty and its protocols of free movement of people goods and services. Equally important is our commitment to the full actualization of the Africa continental free trade area. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya will continue playing its role in international diplomacy 
at the bilateral and multilateral levels, appreciating that we are host to major international agencies, including the United Nations. I commit on the peace initiatives in our country, in our region, sorry, including both in Ethiopia and in the Great Lakes region, I have asked my elder brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has done commendable engagement with those regions, and he has graciously agreed to continue chairing those, in, uh, those uh, uh, discussions on behalf of the people of Kenya. I have committed that the government of Kenya, and myself in particular, will support those initiatives that will be chaired by President Uhuru Kenyatta. And I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for graciously agreeing to support us and to help me in those interventions. Among the central concerns of my government will be climate change. In our country, women and men, young people, farmers, workers, and local communities suffer the consequences of climate emergency. It is not too late to respond. To tackle this threat, we must act urgently to keep global heating levels below the 1.5 Celsius, help those in need, and end addiction to fossil fuels. Africa has the opportunity to lead the world. We have immense potential for renewable energy. Reducing costs of renewable energy technologies make this the most viable energy source. Kenya is on transition to clean energy that will support jobs, local economies, and the sustainable industrialization. In Kenya, we will lead this endeavor by reaffirming our commitment to transition to 100% clean energy by 2030. We call on all our brothers and sisters in our continent to join us in this journey. As members of the international community, we shall support a successful climate summit in Africa in November by championing delivery of finance and technology needed for Africa to adapt to climate impacts, support those in need, and manage the transition. My administration is ready to work with global partners to fight pandemics and other health emergencies. We are also committed to promoting Kenya's vigilance and efficacy in responding to emerging public health challenges. We stand ready to play our role in the collective effort to keep the public safe. I call upon counties, countries that have developed vaccines to make them available to us. Ladies and gentlemen, my government commits to create a business-friendly environment, eradicate barriers that hamper business development and growth, and make Kenya one of the most compelling and attractive business destinations. We are an open, democratic society founded on freedom and justice. We take pride in receiving visitors and offering them our legendary hospitality. Kenya is a land of immense natural beauty and unforgettable delights. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here on my day one as president. I make a commitment that in the days ahead, I will make pronouncements that are going to better define the trajectory of my administration. I promise to make every Kenyan proud and to ensure the economic well-being of all of us. Without exception, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for being patient with us, and I want to commit that I will work hard for all the people of Kenya, irrespective of who or how they voted. I also promise to work with all the leaders 
young and old, present, retired, and coming, so that we can build one nation and harness every talent, every effort, all energies in driving our republic forward. I make my commitment to all those who have served in government that their place in our nation will be secured. To our friends in our region, in Kenya, you have a reliable partner. And we look forward to building on the success of the leaders who came ahead of us. God bless you. God bless Kenya. May the very good Lord bless all of us. Asanteni sana na mungu wabariki. Tusiba mesote kwa wimbo wataifa. Niombe tutulie kwa wimbo wataifa. Na bande ya wimbo wataifa, nitaomba sote tubaki tumesketi kwenye days. I wish to most humbly request your excellencies and all those in the presidential days that we remain seated as we prepare departure protocols. Most kindly, we... Keep 
Kenya is a land we go to now it and protect it to Kizika to Najizika. Kenya, we 